Hey there guys, welcome to episode 16 of my Blackpool gameplay. It's been a while since I've actually played on this game. Um, at the moment we're looking okay in terms of who we've got in at the minute. I'm going to put Parkinson in the reserves. Uh, the really frustrating thing with this is Windows just did an update. And uh, as I was basically checking all these free agents that were coming up, um, base oh, it's so annoying. Basically I've lost everything. I think I put a bid for for this guy in and he was actually okay so I'm gonna just quickly put a bid in for this guy he doesn't ask a lot actually so it's pretty cool um, quickly put a quick bid for him uh, all the rest I can't remember I'm not going through them again because it took me for ages and I'm really gutted that Windows is that um, but we've got Colchester away and then we've got that second leg at Chesterfield and the Vans Trophy final which is always something to look forward to I'm just gonna change this formation as well very quickly I'm gonna put these fullbacks down and let them move on a little bit there We've got Gavin Strachan, he's 93. I'm going to take him out because that was the advice that I had off one of you guys about if he's at below, I think, 95. I don't want to take Duff out. Who else could I put in instead of Duff? Now I'm leaving Duff in. That's something. I can't leave my Duff out. So we'll give it a go anyway. We'll see how we get on. Uh, hopefully we can achieve greatness once again, but, you know, we'll see. Um... It's been a while, you know, It's I've been looking at the players and things like that, trying to decide uh, where's best for them to go, and I just ca I cannot really get my head around. I mean, I've, I think I've decided that Richie Wellens is going to be sold. He's up, um, he's on the transfer list now. He's two million. Someone's actually interested in him already, which is brilliant news. Uh, so hopefully he'll be able to go. Um, we're close to the playoffs. People seem to be happy with us. There's only three days after that game, which really annoys me because it is still a big game. Because we did draw one. I mean, obviously it's it's in their hands because we drew one all. But three days is no time at all, is it really, to sort of regroup and get yourself back together again, especially in terms of stamina and fitness. Um, oh, this is what I mean. Now, do we sort of do we risk it? And I know the league's more important. I bring Wellens on for Richardson. He'll do a job there, I think. Um, who else have we got up front? Um, I might just shove all or behind and just see how that goes for the last part of the game. I'm kind of hoping that we can catch them on the counter attack and just finish the game. Um, it's always a risk, though, isn't it? Really, sometimes you're just better off just going for it and then getting a second. But that's a good win. That's a good start. Um, so that's really good. Right, that sets us up nicely now for this final. Um, I'm hoping that we'll do a job, but we'll have a little look now and see. Okay then, Chesterfield, let's do this. Kolozhny, he signed a new contract, no, didn't he? I don't know, it must have been another game I was playing. There's so many games at the minute. I'm just lost. Right, ooh, okay. Richardson is tired. So I am going to put Wellens on here. I still think he'll do a good job, but we'll see. Okay, come on. Let's get a goal. Let's get an early goal. Put the pressure on them. Yeah. Madeira's playing at six at the minute, which is never a good sign. I might put Ormer on back, you know. Oh, bloody hell. Do you know what? I think I will. I think I'm going to push Ormer on back. Put Bullock on the right. He prefers to play on that right side. Um, yeah, let me just see if that if that changes anything, the dynamics of the game. Kind of hoping it does. Badira's playing a bit. Oh, here we go. Game over. Penalty is what decides it. How annoying is that? Oh well, yeah, sack it. Let's let's take a few players off here. That's gone. Ugh, I mean, Richie Wellens. Bloody, he's knackered. Richie Wellens. Um, Fenton. Let's get Madeira off. Yeah. Uh, Strachan, defensive midfield. Um, John O'Kane. I was. In fact, I was going to play Strachan again. Actually, that was my fault. I should have really played him. But we've pretty much given up for this game. There's no coming back from that. That three goal deficit is way too much for us to sort of to get over. 
Um, so we will move on to Bournemouth now in the league. It's not bad. We, you know, we. I suppose we got. I suppose it's really a semi-final, isn't it? Um, Bournemouth. Yeah, eighteenth. You know, if we win, we're putting the pressure on people. I'm just going to take John O'Kane out. Yeah, I see these guys have put a bid in for this guy as well. Let me just put John O'Kane out and get Strachan back in. And then we'll go from there. Um, I don't know. I'm partly tempted to try this formation. Just give... I, mm, I don't... Uh, Richardson's for Wellens. Oh, I see, no, people aren't interested in him now. If I bring him down slightly to 1.7, 1.4, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at 1.4. And let's see if we can actually attract some some teams from higher up who have the budget to put in a bid for him. That's the issue. It's, it's trying to find someone who can actually afford him. Because 1.4 million is actually quite a bit of money, to be fair. Yeah, there's a few putting the bids in for this guy now, actually. I don't think we're going to end up getting him here. Millwall, oh, you see, they've... Yeah, but they're willing to pay 675 grand in compensation. I'm not willing to do that. So are they. I can't do that. I don't have the money to pay... I'm like, even if I did, which pro I probably would at the beginning... Here we go. Sheffield Wednesday have come in. I'm going to accept it. We're going to get well ends out of the club. And we're going to bid for a few players, I think. So, Wellens, yeah, he'll be, he'll be delighted to go. He will. You know what he's like. He'll be he'll be out of there in no time. They move quite quick to get that guy as well. Um, so, expiring. We didn't, yeah, listed maybe. Listed and interested. We could get someone. We need to sign... Um, a defensive midfielder permanently. Kevin Davis, man. God. Two million. Stephen Clements. Not a bad player, you know. Hayden Fox. In a, do you know what? He's actually not bad at all for a defender. I wouldn't pay, obviously, the, the amount that they're after. Even a good keeper there. See, that's a shame. We could have bought him, actually. Instead, we've got Clayton Ince coming in. I'm quite happy with Clayton Ince because he's free. Hmm. There are some interesting players. There are some really interesting players. Dave Brammer, who's strength tackling decisions. That's something that I'm gonna to have to look at, I think. I think I'm gonna to have to seriously decide what I want from this. Yeah, so Wellens is gone. Two thousand three hundred quid a week. But we have budget. We have money to spend. Eugene Daddy. Do you remember that guy? Oh my god. That guy's a legend. I think there are actually some good players here. Ryan McCann. Celtic always have some good youngsters, you know. Oh, he's a defensive mid. Danny. Oh, Danny Higginbottom. Oh, he hasn't got flair, though. He's got pace and acceleration. Saying that, do you need flair that much? I don't know. Agility, oh, brave. Let me just. Who have I got coming in? That's the issue. I don't think I've got a left. I don't think I've got a lefty coming in. No, I don't. Let me put a little cheeky bid. Let's try two forty. I mean, I'm really going down. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend ridiculous money. Kevin Street. He's, there's, there's some really interesting players here. I think I'm going to have to have a look at this as um, as I go on because I don't really want to waste the video just going on with this. So I'm going to move on now swiftly to to playing the game against... See, I don't know whether to do this. Let's try that. Because I'm just worried that we're going to expose ourselves on the wing, which I don't want to do. But then apparently wants to go attacking. Actually, there, yeah, fair enough, Madeira. But Madeira plays well up front anyway, so it's it's down. It's it's whether the rest of the team play well. Yeah, two nil. Okay, they've got one back, which is really frustrating. 
We need to take these chances, get in. That's his 40th goal of the season, Madeira. Wow, 41st. This guy likes his formation. Maybe this is the way I need to play from now on with wingers. Ah, 4 2. There always seems to. There's, there's always frailties with us, isn't there? Again, we're close to actually filling our stadium here. They rejected the bid to actually increase the capacity of the stadium in the last video, which was really annoying because we, we're losing out on money, in my opinion. I think the benefits clearly outweigh the negatives in terms of just expanding the stadium. Yes, it'll cost some money, but in the long run, we will do it. Bloody hell, four goals for this guy again. He is just on fire at the minute. Right, I'm going to start to think about bringing a few people off here. I think Madeira's won the game for us there. Right, Richardson. Right, I'm going to bring Clarkson on instead of Richardson. Um, see, we're not missing... Um, we're not missing um, Wellens as much as I thought we would. So I think whoever did say that to me about selling him was completely the right decision. Yeah, that's 6-2. Yeah, not bad. This seems to be the right formation to play at the minute. I mean, it's you know, don't get me wrong, it's only one home game. Right, okay, not bad. Yeah, delighted. I'm happy with that as well. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. So we're actually now four points off the playoff positions, but we've got a game in hand. So yeah, please remember to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you for the next video.